on an average, a chat GPT query requires nearly 10 times as much electricity to process as a Google search. This is as per a Goldman Sachs report. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said that AI will use vastly more energy than people expected and clean energy breakthrough is necessary in that case. Generative AI, it is the most used word in recent times and we see it around us in all ways possible, be it on our social media apps, our work. AI powered products are loved by all. Now, while this technology is making life easier across the globe, till the time we have cleaner sources of energy, it is not good for the climate. Now, let's connect the above statements with some examples. Higher use of artificial intelligence would mean more need for data centers. As per a Goldman Sachs report, AI is expected to drive 160% increase in data center power demand. International Energy Agency estimates the energy use from data centers that power AI will double in just the next two years, consuming as much energy as Japan. The expected rise of data center carbon dioxide emissions will represent a social cost of 125 to 140 billion dollars and this is just at the present value. Again, an estimate by Goldman Sachs. Right now, the energy consumption is largely thermal, that would mean burning of fossil fuels to generate electricity, unless the shift is made to clean energy to power data centers. It will continue to cause massive carbon emissions if there's no switch due to higher power consumption. Now, training Jack GPT-3 used as much energy as 120 American homes over the course of a year. And training the GPT-4 model used approximately 40 times more energy than GPT-3. Some more scary stats. A study by Hugging Face and Carnage Mellon University found that generating just one image from a powerful AI model takes as much energy as a full charge of a smartphone. And scale that up and generating 1,000 images would result in the carbon output of driving a car for six and a half kilometers. This is about electricity, but AI systems are also water guzzlers. And some reports suggest they are often located in areas that already face water shortages. AI servers' massive energy consumption generates much heat. To take care of the heat and avoid server overheating, data centers commonly use cooling towers, which needs a staggering amount of clean, fresh water. Training large language models such as GPT-3 can require millions of liters of fresh water for both cooling and electricity generation. This puts a strain on local freshwater resources. The US Department of Energy estimated that US data centers consume 1.7 billion liters per day in 2014, or 0.14% of daily US water use. So yes, AI comes with its benefits, but a lot of negative for the environment as well. Efforts are being made to ensure AI helps in sustainable solutions as well, that is where technology helps us. But till the time we have more investments in renewables and clean energy, the AI part could continue to be dangerous for the environment. Hey, thank you for watching this on CNBC TV 18. Hope you liked it. For more such interesting news and updates, follow CNBC TV 18 on all the social media platforms.